Hey, what's going on guys? Comic again Z here. In this video, I'd like to introduce a uh, Wolfenstein 3D clone I'm developing using Python and Pygame. So, uh, recently, uh, I've been up with technique uh, called raycasting. It's the rendering technique from, from the 90s. And Wolfenstein was the very first game, uh, Wolfenstein 3D was the very first game uh, introducing this raycast technology to the to, yeah, to public basically, yeah. So it looked like what you currently see on a screen, so I've added uh, an option to display the frames per second, the map, uh, so just to, just to give user an idea where exactly he, he's currently at. Uh, I'm using authentic uh, textures from Wolfenstein. Well, obviously I've added some uh, uh, custom textures textures with logos for my YouTube channel, logo for YouTube on its own, <laughs> my, <laughs> my face there as well. So yeah, I just made it for fun. So nothing, nothing, nothing really serious here. And uh, I actually tried to make it look like uh, as authentic as I could basically. So the resolution is kept uh, as it was in dust. And by the way, here is uh, a message that I'm no longer gonna be making web scraping video. So yeah, just to give you an idea. So I try to make it look like uh, an original version. So uh, 300 pixels width and 200 pixels height. That was the so-called uh, video mode. Uh, I guess it was called 13H in DAS, so that was a mode to enter like to the graphical mode uh, under the DAS operating system. And uh, as you can see, that the floor and the ceiling are are not animated or or, or anything. Those are just like uh, colors. And I, I've grabbed these colors from the actual Wolfenstein. Uh, well, not not from the game itself, but from the YouTube video. But I hope that that, make, that kind of makes sense. So eventually, uh, this is what we got, and I'm gonna be. Uh, so I'm actually gonna be implementing the entire game because, really, many people are doing this uh, kind of raycasting engine, but it's really interesting to add some sprites, which is really challenging, and uh, I've already found some sources where uh, where I could have uh, kind of. Uh, with logic I could have used right over in there for just to render in sprites that that's that's one of the most challenging uh, things to be honest and uh, first I was uh, I just wanted to, to wait until I uh, finish the entire game and then just uh, make a tutorial series on how to make it but then I realized that it gonna take too long and probably I can make this development progress videos so just to give you an idea, like uh, the steps I've been through in order to develop this kind of game. So the next uh, the next step, uh, the next major step is to implement uh, sprites, as I've been mentioning already, just to be able to walk around the sprite. So it would be kind of uh, actually displaying the different sprite uh, where when you change the angle. Uh, from for which angle do you view that sort of a sprite and also uh, implement the logic of shooting enemies like uh, man, like a custom animation for uh, those enemies like kind of dying so that that's uh, re really lots of work to do I would say so it's w what I've just done is a very very basic thing everybody everyone can do it's nothing really special here and yeah making the entire game is way more complicated but uh, I really, I really want to do it, so we'll see if I succeed. And regarding the tutorials, uh, so I've already, uh, I've already made three uh, basic tutorials, like uh, raycasting for absolute beginners, as far as I was absolute beginner uh, in raycasting while was when I was doing those tutorials. So uh, I was using the, the simplest possible techniques there, and I think that probably by the time I'm developing this game, I would be adding some new tutorials uh, covering those techniques I've mastered already. So let's say, for instance, uh, I've mastered a new optimized way of how to cast the rays. So not all the rays, not both directions at once, but first those rays that uh, 
have a collision with the vertical lines and then those having collision with the horizontal lines and then bundle all together uh, so uh, just uh, by, by considering the the ray that is shorter than the opposite one so that's that's kind of it so we uh, just take uh, the, the either the horizontal depth or the vertical depth and the one is uh, and the minimal one is considered and that's how uh, how it's rendered basically but again like uh, I think that we'll keep going with that didactic approach like having a map on the left side having a, a 3d projection on the right side and just just to showcase how, how this to kind of interacting with each, with each other and literally so this this is actually a two-dimensional game so 3d is just a projection nothing nothing really special there okay so that's pretty it and uh another amazing news that i've realized that it's possible to make the same thing but uh using pure javascript and the canvas element so we can make a similar game running completely in browser so maybe one day uh if, if I succeed with this one, maybe one day we'll go and create this Wolfenstein-like game in JavaScript uh, that would be running completely in browser because I understand that for some of you it might be challenging to install Python and Pygame, so it might not be the case, but uh, if, it's about, if, if it's all about the browser, then anybody can follow the tutorial and uh, gonna come up with a working game and also play it online and actually from whatever device the, the people have been, uh, were doing like mobile devices support for support for that sort of a thing that's a bit challenging but that's possible uh i saw i saw how how this working and that's really amazing so those are the plans guys so i'm really serious about recasting as you can see again like, it goes really slowly and uh without the help of those resources i came up with recently i would never be where i'm currently at so Please be sure to see all the credits in the description below the video. So I've been referencing different sources, but I will give the credits to all the sources. Uh, actually, uh, I was inspired by, let's say. So I tried to follow like one tutorial or another tutorial, but eventually I didn't like the code style or it was a bit too complicated or numer numerous excuses. So eventually uh, uh, I came up with uh, my very own code, but the ideas taken uh but the ideas are obviously taken from someone else's implementations and yeah that's that's really important thing to mention so nothing so no no need to rein one to rein, reinvent the wheel here okay guys so this is it from my side and the next video on wolfenstein 3d and python and py game development progress is coming probably when i uh try to add something decent well probably one of the uh next things to consider would it be to add the doors the door textures and being able to open and close the doors and maybe this should gun in front just to render it and probably the status bar with the face it would be fun as well so yeah uh i think that that should be that should be interesting so this is from my site uh some tutorials on didactic ray casting engine python and pygame are coming soon so i thought I, I just dropped that series but now i realize that i have some more interesting uh theory and practice to share with you guys so we'll have a look at that as well i'm sorry it's all a little bit uh messed up but that's the way how I learn. So I'm just picking up this absolutely from scratch. So let's say one week ago, I had no idea how to make this at all. So I'm pretty, pretty new to this. Uh, and so actually by, by following my approach, you can see like how, how a random guy from internet learns to code absolutely from scratch with no like uh, previous knowledge on game development and role list. So even though I have some general, like, general programming concepts, uh in mind but i've never been doing game development in in any in any form so this is my very first game development experience and i really like sticking to this recasting technology because i don't know for some reason uh it feels like there is some sort of a magic in it okay guys so this is it from my side thanks for watching until the next time and take care